The phonology of Standard German is the standard pronunciation or accent of the German language. It deals with current phonology and phonetics as well as with historical developments thereof as well as the geographical variants and the influence of German dialects. While the spelling of German is officially standardized by an international organization the Council for German Orthography the pronunciation has no official standard and relies on a de facto standard documented in reference works such as Deutsches Osprechewortürbuch German Pronunciation Dictionary by Eva Maria Kreck et al. Duden 6 Das Osprechewortürbuch Duden Vol. 6, The Pronunciation Dictionary by Max Mangold and the training materials of radio and television stations such as Westdeutscher Rundfunk, Deutschlandfunk, or Schweizer Radio und Fernsehen. This standardized pronunciation was invented, rather than coming from any particular German-speaking city, but the city that Germans most consider to be closest to the standard is Hanover. Standard German is sometimes referred to as Bühnendeutsch stage German, but the latter has its own definition and is slightly different. <laughs> Vowels. Topic: Monophthongs. Some scholars treat as an unstressed allophone of. Likewise, some scholars treat as an allophone of the unstressed sequence r. The phonemic status of is also debated. See below. Topic: Notes. Close vowels. I is close front unrounded I. Y is close near front rounded Y. U is close back rounded U. Has been variously described as near close front unrounded and near close near front unrounded. Is near close near front rounded. Is near close near back rounded. Mid vowels. E is close mid front unrounded E in non-standard accents of the low German speaking area as well as in some Bavarian and Austrian accents it may be pronounced as a narrow closing diphthong E O stroke has been variously described as close mid near front rounded O stroke and mid near front rounded O stroke in non-standard accents of the low German speaking area as well as in some Austrian accents it may be pronounced as a narrow closing diphthong O O is close mid back rounded O in non standard accents of the low German speaking area, as well as in some Austrian accents, it may be pronounced as a narrow closing diphthong O. Has been variously described as mid central unrounded and close mid central unrounded. It occurs only in unstressed syllables, for instance in besetzen bzt, sn, occupy. It is often considered a complementary allophone together with but which cannot occur in unstressed syllables. If a sonorant follows in the syllable coda, the schwa often disappears so that the sonorant becomes syllabic, for instance kissen, kishen, pillow, essel, ezl, donkey. Has been variously described as mid-near front unrounded and open mid-front unrounded. Has been variously described as mid-front unrounded and open mid-front unrounded. O has been variously described as open mid-near front rounded and somewhat lowered open mid-near front rounded has been variously described as somewhat fronted open mid back rounded and open mid back rounded open vowels is near open central unrounded it is a common allophone of the sequence r common to all german speaking areas but switzerland a has been variously described as open front unrounded a and open central unrounded a some scholars differentiate two short a namely front a and back the latter occurs only in unstressed open syllables, exactly as i, y, u, e, o, o. Standard Austrian pronunciation of this vowel is back. Front a or even a is a common realization of a in Northern German varieties influenced by Low German. A has been variously described as open central unrounded a diaresis and open back unrounded. Because of this, it is sometimes transcribed. Back is the standard Austrian pronunciation. It is also a common realization of a in northern German varieties influenced by Low German in which it may even be rounded. Wies 1996 notes that there is a tendency to neutralize the distinction between a, a and that is, oda, radar, and odor have final syllables which are perceptually very similar, and are nearly or completely identical in some dialects. 
He also says that outside of a word context cannot be distinguished from a. As early as 1847, Verdi's librettist found it natural, when adapting a play by Schiller into the Italian language, to render the distinctly German name Roller as Rolla. Although there is also a length contrast, vowels are often analyzed according to a tenseness contrast, with long, i, y, u, e, o stroke, o, being the tense vowels and short, o. Their lax counterparts. Like the English checked vowels, the German lax vowels require a following consonant, with the notable exception of which is absent in many varieties, as discussed below. A is sometimes considered the lax counterpart of tense, a, in order to maintain this tense, lax division. Short, i, y, u, e, o, o, occur in unstressed syllables of loanwords, for instance in psychometry, psychom t, psychometry. They are usually considered allophones of tense vowels, which cannot occur in unstressed syllables unless in compounds. Northern German varieties influenced by Low German could be analyzed as lacking contrasting vowel quantity entirely. A has a different quality than a. See above. These varieties also consistently lack and use only e in its place. Topic: <laughs> Phonemic status of. The long open mid-front unrounded vowel does not exist in many varieties of standard German and is rendered as the close mid-front unrounded vowel e, so that both ara ear of grain and ira honor are pronounced e instead of ara being and both baron bears and biren berries are pronounced bn instead of baron being bn. It is debated whether is a distinct phoneme or even exists, except when consciously self-censoring speech, for several reasons. The existence of a phoneme, is an irregularity in a vowel system that otherwise has pairs of long and tense versus short and lax vowels such as o versus Although some dialects e.g. Ripuarian and some Alemannic dialects have an opposition of e versus, there is little agreement across dialects as to whether individual lexical items should be pronounced with e or with. The use of is a spelling pronunciation rather than an original feature of the language. It is an attempt to Speak as is printed, sprechen we gedrickt, and to differentiate the spellings e and a diaresis. Speakers of the language attempt to justify the appearance of e and a diaresis in writing by making them distinct in the spoken language. Speakers with an otherwise fairly standard idiolect find it rather difficult to utter longer passages with e and in the right places. Such persons apparently have to picture the spellings of the words in question, which impedes the flow of speech. Topic. Diphthongs Topic. Phonemic A has been variously described as a, a, and a. A has been variously described as a, a diaresis, a, and a has been variously described as e, and o. The process of smoothing is absent from standard German, so the sequences a, a, are never pronounced asterisk a, a, or asterisk a, a. Topic phonetic marginally, there are other diphthongs, for instance in interjections such as pfui p, f, the following usually are not counted among the German diphthongs as German speakers often feel they are distinct marks of foreign words fremdwörter. These appear only in loanwords, o, a, as in croissant, k, o, a, s, colloquially, k, o, a, sa. Many German speakers use and as adaptations of the English diphthongs and in English loanwords, according to Weiss, 1996, or they replace them with the native German long vowels, o, and, e. Thus, the word ok may be pronounced k or ok. However, Mangold 2005 and Kreck et al. 2009 do not recognize these diphthongs as phonemes, and prescribe pronunciations with the long vowels e, and, o, instead, in the varieties where speakers vocalize, r, to, in the syllable coda, a diphthong ending in may be formed with every vowel except, and, Carat 1 Weiss 1996 notes that the length contrast is not very stable before non prevocalic r, and that Meinhold and Stock 180 following the pronouncing dictionaries Mangold 1990, Kreck and Stotzer 1982 judge the vowel in art, schwert, fart to be long, while the vowel in ort, fert, heart is supposed to be short. 
The factual basis of this presumed distinction seems very questionable. He goes on stating that in his own dialect, there is no length difference in these words, and that judgments on vowel length in front of non prevocalic, r, which is itself vocalized, are problematic, in particular if a precedes, according to the lengthless analysis, the aforementioned long diphthongs are analyzed as i, y, u, e, o, stroke, o, and a. This makes non prevocalic, r, and a r, homophonous as a or a. Non prevocalic, r, and r, may also merge, but the vowel chart in Kohler 1999 shows that they have somewhat different starting points mid centralized open mid front for the former, open mid front. For the latter, Weiss 1996 also states that laxing of the vowel is predicted to take place in shortened vowels, it does indeed seem to go hand in hand with the vowel shortening in many cases. This leads to i, y, u, e, o stroke, o being pronounced the same as. This merger is usual in the standard Austrian accent, in which e.g. more bog is often pronounced m. This, in contrast with the standard northern variety, also happens intervocalically, along with the diphthongization of the laxed vowel to v, so that e.g. lehrer teacher is pronounced l. The corresponding standard northern pronunciation is la. Another feature of the standard Austrian accent is complete absorption of by the preceding so that e.g. rar scarce is pronounced. Topic consonants With approximately 25 phonemes, the German consonant system has an average number of consonants in comparison with other languages. One of the more noteworthy ones is the unusual affricate, p, f. Notes, p, f, is bilabial labiodental, p, f, rather than purely labiodental, p, f. T, d, l, n, can be apical alveolar, t, d, l, n, laminal alveolar, t, d, l, n, or laminal denti alveolar, t, D, L, N. The other possible pronunciation of D that has been reported to occur in unstressed intervocalic positions is retroflex. Austrian German often uses the laminal denti alveolar articulation. L is always clear, L, as in most Irish English accents. A few Austrian accents may use a velarized instead, but that is considered non standard. In the standard Austrian variety, K may be affricated to K, X before front vowels. T, S, S, Z, can be laminal alveolar T, S, S, Z, laminal postdental T, S, S, Z, i.e. fronted alveolar, articulated with the blade of the tongue just behind upper front teeth, or even apical alveolar T, S, S, Z. Austrian German often uses the postdental articulation. S, Z, are always strongly fricated. T, D, are strongly labialized palato alveolar sibilants T, D, are fricated more weakly than s, z. There are two variants of these sounds, laminal, articulated with the foremost part of the blade of the tongue approaching the foremost part of the hard palate, with the tip of the tongue resting behind either upper or lower front teeth. Apico-laminal, articulated with the tip of the tongue approaching the gums and the foremost part of the blade approaching the foremost part of the hard palate. According to Morciniak and Predota 2005, this variant is used more frequently. Theta are used only in loanwords, mostly from English, such as thriller, theta l, though some speakers substitute theta with any of t, s, f, and with any of d, z, v. There are two variants of these sounds, apical post-dental, articulated with the tip of the tongue approaching the upper incisors. Apical interdental, articulated with the tip of the tongue between the upper and lower incisors. R, has a number of possible realizations, voiced apical coronal trill, tap, r, either alveolar articulated with the tip of the tongue against the alveolar ridge, or dental articulated with the tip of the tongue against the back of the upper front teeth distribution, common in the south Bavaria and many parts of Switzerland and Austria, but it is also found in some speakers in central and northern Germany, especially the elderly. It is also one of possible realizations of R in the standard Austrian accent, but a more common alveolar realization is an approximant even more common are uvular realizations, fricatives, tilde chi, and a trill. Voiced uvular trill, which can be realized as voiceless after voiceless consonants as in treton. According to Lodge 2009, it is often a tap intervocalically as in era. Distribution, occurs in some conservative varieties. Most speakers with a uvular, r, realize it as a fricative or an approximant. It is also one of possible realizations of r in the standard Austrian accent, but it is less common than a fricative, tilde chi. 
Dorsal continuant, about the quality of which there is not a complete agreement, Kreck et al. 2009 described two fricative variants, namely postpalatal and velar. The postpalatal variant appears before and after front vowels, while the velar variant is used in all other positions. Morciniak and Predota describe it as voiced post-velar fricative. Mangold 2005 and Kohler 1999 describe it as voiced uvular fricative. Mangold 2005 states that with educated professional radio and TV announcers, as with professional actors on the stage and in film, the voiced uvular fricative realization of r clearly predominates. In the standard Austrian accent, the uvular fricative is also the most common realization, although its voicing is variable. That is, it can be either voiced or voiceless. Kai. Kohler 1999 writes that the place of articulation of the consonant varies from uvular in e.g. rot red to velar in e.g. treton kick, depending on back or front vowel contexts. He also notes that is devoiced after voiceless plosives and fricatives, especially those within the same word, giving the word treton as an example. According to this author, can be reduced to an approximant in an intervocalic position. Latifoged and Madison 1996 describe it as a uvular fricative, or approximant. The latter is less likely to occur word initially. Distribution, almost all areas apart from Bavaria and parts of Switzerland. Near open central unrounded vowel, is a post-vocalic allophone of mostly dorsal varieties of r. The non-syllabic variant of it is not always near open or central, it is similar to either or, depending on the environment, distribution, widespread, but less common in Switzerland. The voiceless stops, p, t, k, are aspirated except when preceded by a sibilant. Many southern dialects do not aspirate, p, t, k, and some northern ones do so only in a stressed position. The voiceless affricates, p, f, t, s, and t, are never aspirated, and neither are any other consonants besides the aforementioned, p, t, k. The obstruents, b, d, z, d, are voiceless lenus, b, d, z, d, in southern varieties, and they contrast with voiceless fortis p, t, k, s, t. In Austria, intervocalic, b, d, can be lenited to fricatives beta before and after front vowels, i, y, e, o, o stroke, and, in varieties that realize them as front, a, and or, a, the velar consonants, k, are realized as post-palatal, k. According to Weiss, 1996, in a parallel process, k, before and after back vowels, u, o, and, in varieties that realize them as back, a, and or, a, are retracted to post velar k, or even uvular q. There is no complete agreement about the nature of j, it has been variously described as a fricative, a fricative, which can be fricated less strongly than, c, a sound variable between a weak fricative and approximant and an approximant j, which is the usual realization in the standard Austrian variety. In many varieties of standard German, occurs in careful speech before word stems that begin with a vowel. Some varieties of Standard German do not have, e.g. Swiss Standard German. It is not usually considered a phoneme. In colloquial and dialectal speech, is often omitted, especially when the word beginning with a vowel is unstressed. The phonemic status of affricates is controversial. The majority view accepts p, f, and t, s, but not t, or the non-native d, some accept none, some accept all but d, and some accept all. d, and, occur only in words of foreign origin. In certain varieties, they are replaced by t, and, altogether. Is occasionally considered to be an allophone of v, especially in southern varieties of German, c, and x are traditionally regarded as allophones after front vowels and back vowels, respectively. For a more detailed analysis see below at Iklaut and Aklaut. According to some analyses, chi is an allophone of x, after a, a, and according to some also after a. However, according to Musmuller, Schmid and Brandstatter 2015, the uvular allophone is used after only in the standard Austrian variety. Some phonologists deny the phoneme and use n instead along with nk instead of k. The phoneme sequence n is realized as when can start a valid onset of the next syllable whose nucleus is a vowel other than unstressed or it becomes otherwise. For example, diphthong, dftn, dft, diphthongurin, dftnin, dftin, English, enl, l, anglo, anlo, allo, 
Ganges, ANS, AS, tilde, ANS, AS. Topic: Ik laut and ak laut. Ik laut is the voiceless palatal fricative C, which is found in the word ik C I, and ak laut is the voiceless velar fricative X, which is found in the word ak X. The interjection O, oh, alas. Note that laut la t is the German word for sound phone. In German, these two sounds are allophones occurring in complementary distribution. The allophone X occurs after back vowels and AA, for instance in book, bu X book, the allophone C after front vowels, for instance in mich MC, me, myself, and consonants, for instance in furcht Fsit, fear, manchmal, mankma L sometimes. This happens most regularly. If the R in furcht is pronounced as a consonant, CH represents C. However, if, as often happens, it is vocalized as resembling the vowel a, then CH may represent X, yielding FXT. In loanwords, the pronunciation of potential fricatives in onsets of stressed syllables varies. In the northern varieties of Standard German, it is c, while in southern varieties, it is k, and in western varieties, it is. For instance, in China, c na versus ki na versus i na. The diminutive suffix chen is always pronounced with an ik laut cn. Usually, this ending triggers umlaut. Compare, for instance, hund. Dog to hunchen, hentician, little dog. So theoretically, it could only occur after front vowels. However, in some comparatively recent coinings, there is no longer an umlaut. For instance, in the word frauken, fa cien, a diminutive of frau, woman, so that a back vowel is followed by a c, even though normally it would be followed by a x, as in rauken, a x n, to smoke. This exception to the allophonic distribution may be an effect of the morphemic boundary or an example of phonemization, where erstwhile allophones undergo a split into separate phonemes. The allophonic distribution of c after front vowels and x after other vowels is also found in other languages, such as Scots, in the pronunciation of light. However, it is by no means inevitable. Dutch, Yiddish, and many Southern German dialects retain x, which can be realized as chi instead in all positions. It is thus reasonable to assume that Old High German IH, the ancestor of modern IK, was pronounced with X rather than C. While it is impossible to know for certain whether Old English words such as NIHT modern night were pronounced with X or C, C is likely see Old English phonology. Despite the phonetic history, the complementary distribution of C and X in modern standard German is better described as backing of C after a back vowel, rather than fronting of X after a front vowel, because C is used in onsets chemi C -me chemistry and after consonants mulch MLC newt, and is thus the underlying form of the phoneme. According to Kohler, the German ak laut is further differentiated into two allophones, x and chi, x occurs after u, o, for instance in book bu x book, and chi after a, a, for instance in bach ba chi brook, while either x or chi may occur after a, with chi predominating. Fortis Linus pairs Various German consonants occur in pairs at the same place of articulation and in the same manner of articulation, namely the pairs p, b, t, d, k, s, z. These pairs are often called fortis linus pairs, since describing them as voiced voiceless pairs is inadequate. With certain qualifications, t, d, f, v, and θ are also considered fortis linus pairs. Fortis linus distinction for m, n, L, R, H, is unimportant, the fortis stops, P, T, K, are aspirated in many varieties. The aspiration is strongest in the onset of a stressed syllable such as Taylor taller, weaker in the onset of an unstressed syllable such as Vader fat, father, and weakest in the syllable coda such as in sot zati, seed. All fortis consonants, i.e., P, T, K, F, theta, S, C, X, P, F, T, S, T, are fully voiceless, the lenus consonants b, d, v, z, j, r, d, range from being weakly voiced to almost voiceless b, d, v, eth, z, j, r, d, after voiceless consonants, kasba, k, a, s, b, a, kasba, abdenken, a, p, d, aken, to resign, rotgelb, o, t, l, p, red, yellow, abwerf, a, p, v, f, dropping, absicht, abs, c, t, intention, holzhala, c, s, aluzi, wooden jalousy, wegjagen, v, k, j, a, n, to chase away, tropfen, t, p, f, n, to drop, ops, juice, o, p, s, t, d, u, s, fruit juice. 
Mangold 2005 states that they are to a large extent voiced b d g v z j r d in all other environments but some studies have found the stops b d to be voiceless word utterance initially in most dialects while still contrasting with p t k due to the aspiration of the latter b d z are voiceless in most southern varieties of german for clarity they are often transcribed as b d z the nature of the phonetic difference between the voiceless lenus consonants and the similarly voiceless fortis consonants is controversial. It is generally described as a difference in articulatory force, and occasionally as a difference in articulatory length. For the most part, it is assumed that one of these characteristics implies the other. In various central and southern varieties, the opposition between fortis and lenus is neutralized in the syllable onset, sometimes just in the onset of stressed syllables, sometimes in all cases. The pair, fv, is not considered a fortis lenus pair, but a simple voiceless voiced pair, as v, remains voiced in all varieties, including the southern varieties that devoice the leans with however some exceptions. Generally, the southern, v, is realized as the voiced approximant. However, there are southern varieties which differentiate between a fortis, f, such as in straflick ter flc culpable from middle high German straflick and a lenus, f, v, such as in Hoflich H -O -stroke v -L -C, polite from Middle High German Hovlich, this is analogous to the opposition of Fortis S, S and Linus Z. Topic: <coughs> Coda devoicing. In varieties from Northern Germany, Linus stops in the syllable coda are realized as Fortis stops. This does not happen in varieties from southern Germany, Austria or Switzerland, since the lenus stops, b, d, are unvoiced or at most variably voiced as stated above, this cannot be called devoicing in the strict sense of the word because it does not involve the loss of phonetic voice. More accurately, it can be called coda fortition or a neutralization of fortis and lenus sounds in the coda. Fricatives are truly and contrastively voiced in northern Germany. Therefore, the fricatives undergo coda devoicing in the strict sense of the word. It is disputed whether coda devoicing is due to a constraint which specifically operates on syllable codas or whether it arises from constraints which protect voicing in privileged positions. As against standard pronunciation rules, in Western varieties including those of the Rhineland, coda fortis lenus neutralization results in voicing rather than devoicing if the following word begins with a vowel. For example, mitun-s becomes mdns and darfik becomes dav. The same sandy phenomenon exists also as a general rule in the Luxembourgish language. <laughs> Stress Stress in German usually falls on the first syllable, with the following exceptions. Many loanwords, especially proper names, keep their original stress. E.g. Obama slash o ba dot ma. Nouns formed with Latinate suffixes, such as ant, anz, ens, ion, ismus, east, ment, tat, idealismus, id, lsms, idealism, consonant, conzo nant, consonant, tourist, tu saint, tourist. Verbs formed with the French derived suffix iron, e.g. studieren, tu dn, to study. This is often pronounced, in, in casual speech. Compound adverbs with her, hin, da, or wo as they are stressed on the first syllable of the second element, e.g. dagegen, da en, on the other hand, wo or, wo he, from where. In addition, German uses different stress for separable prefixes and inseparable prefixes in verbs and words derived from such verbs. Words beginning with b, g, e, er, vir, zir, ent, emp, and a few other inseparable prefixes are stressed on the root. Words beginning with the separable prefixes ab, auf, ein, vor, and most prepositional adverbs are stressed on the prefix. Some prefixes, notably uber, unter, um, and dirch, can function as separable or inseparable prefixes and are stressed or not accordingly. A few homographs with such prefixes exist. They are not perfect homophones. Consider the word umschreiben. As um schreiben separable prefix, it means to rewrite and is pronounced ma bien, with stress on the first syllable. Its associated noun, die umschreibung is also stressed on the first syllable ma b. On the other hand, umschreiben inseparable prefix is pronounced m a b n, with stress on the second syllable. 
This word means to paraphrase, and its associated noun, di um schreibung, is also stressed on the second syllable. Mab". Another example is the word um fahren, with stress on the root mfan, it means to drive around an obstacle in the street, and with stress on the prefix mfan, it means to run down, over, or to knock down. Acquisition General Like all infants, German infants go through a babbling stage in the early phases of phonological acquisition, during which they produce the sounds they will later use in their first words. Phoneme inventories begin with stops, nasals, and vowels, contrasting short vowels and liquids appear next, followed by fricatives and affricates, and finally all other consonants and consonant clusters. Children begin to produce protowords near the end of their first year. These words do not approximate adult forms, yet have a specific and consistent meaning. Early word productions are phonetically simple and usually follow the syllable structure CV or CVC, although this generalization has been challenged. The first vowels produced are a uh, and a, uh, followed by e, i, and with rounded vowels emerging last. German children often use phonological processes to simplify their early word production. For example, they may delete an unstressed syllable chocolate, chocolate pronounced lady, or replace a fricative with a corresponding stop dak, dax, roof pronounced dock. One case study found that a 17-month-old child acquiring German replaced the voiceless velar fricative X with the nearest available continuant H, or deleted it altogether book, boo X book pronounced ba or boo. Topic. Vowel space development In 2009, Lintford examined the development of vowel space of German speakers in their first three years of life. During the babbling stage, vowel distribution has no clear pattern. However, stressed and unstressed vowels already show different distributions in the vowel space. Once word production begins, stressed vowels expand in the vowel space, while the F1-F2 vowel space of unstressed vowels becomes more centralized. The majority of infants are then capable of stable production of F1. It should be noted that the variability of formant frequencies among individuals decreases with age. After 24 months, infants expand their vowel space individually at different rates. However, if the parents' utterances possess a well-defined vowel space, their children produce clearly distinguished vowel classes earlier. By about three years old, children command the production of all vowels, and they attempt to produce the four cardinal vowels, y, i, u, and a, uh, at the extreme limits of the f1, f2 vowel space i.e., the height and backness of the vowels are made extreme by the infants. Topic. Grammatical words Generally, closed-class grammatical words e articles and prepositions are absent from children's speech when they first begin to combine words. However, children as young as 18 months old show knowledge of these closed-class words when they prefer stories with them, compared to passages with them omitted. Therefore, the absence of these grammatical words cannot be due to perceptual problems. Researchers tested children's comprehension of four grammatical words, bis bees, up to, von effen, from, das, das the neuter singular, and sign za en, his. After first being familiarized with the words, eight-month-old children looked longer in the direction of a speaker playing a text passage that contained these previously heard words. However, this ability is absent in six-month-olds. Nasals The acquisition of nasals in German differs from that of Dutch, a phonologically closely related language. German children produce proportionately more nasals in onset position sounds before a vowel in a syllable than Dutch children do. German children, once they reached 16 months, also produced significantly more nasals in syllables containing schwa's, when compared with Dutch-speaking children. This may reflect differences in the languages the children are being exposed to, although the researchers claim that the development of nasals likely cannot be seen apart from the more general phonological system the child is developing. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Phonotactic constraints and reading. 
A 2006 study examined the acquisition of German in phonologically delayed children specifically, issues with fronting of velars and stopping of fricatives and whether they applied phonotactic constraints to word initial consonant clusters containing these modified consonants. In many cases, the subjects mean age equals 5, 1 avoided making phonotactic violations, opting instead for other consonants or clusters in their speech. This suggests that phonotactic constraints do apply to the speech of German children with phonological delay, at least in the case of word-initial consonant clusters. Additional research has also shown that spelling consistencies seen in German raise children's phonemic awareness as they acquire reading skills. Topic. Sound changes equals topic. Sound changes and mergers A merger found mostly in northern accents of German is that of, spelled a diaresis, a with e, spelled e, e, or a. Some speakers merge the two everywhere, some distinguish them everywhere, others keep, distinct only in conditional forms of strong verbs for example ich gebe be, I would give versus ich gebe e be, I give are distinguished, but baron bn bears versus bieren bn berries are not. Standard pronunciation of baron is bn. Another common merger is that of at the end of a syllable with c or x, for instance Krieg k -i -c -sadilla war, but Krieger k -i wars, er lag la -x he lay, but wir logen la -n we lay. This pronunciation is frequent all over central and northern Germany. It is characteristic of regional languages and dialects, particularly Low German in the north, where g represents a fricative, becoming voiceless in the syllable coda, as is common in German final obstruent devoicing. However common it is, this pronunciation is considered substandard. Only in one case, in the grammatical ending ig, which corresponds to English y, the fricative pronunciation of final g is prescribed by the Siebes standard, for instance wichtig vcdc important. The merger occurs neither in Austro-Bavarian and Alemannic German nor in the corresponding varieties of standard German, and therefore in these regions ig is pronounced. Many speakers do not distinguish the affricate p, f, from the simple fricative f, in the beginning of a word, in which case the verb er fart he, travels and the noun pford horse are both pronounced ft. This most commonly occurs in northern and western Germany, where the local dialects did not originally have the sound p, f. Some speakers also have peculiar pronunciation for p, f, in the middle or end of a word, replacing the f in p, f, with a voiceless bilabial fricative, i.e. a consonant produced by pressing air flow through the tensed lips. Thereby tropfen drop becomes t, p, n, rather than t, p, f, n. Many speakers who have a vocalization of r, after, a, merge this combination with long, a, i.e., r, greater than asterisk, a, or asterisk, greater than, a, or. Hereby, shaf sheep and sharf sharp can both be pronounced a f or f. This merger does not occur where a is a front vowel while a is realized as a back vowel. Here the words are kept distinct as f sheep and a f sharp. In umlaut forms, the difference usually reoccurs schafer f or e f versus sharfer f. Speakers with this merger also often use a c cedilla instead of formally normal x, where it stems from original arc. The word arken arcs is thus pronounced a -c -n, which makes a minimal pair with aken a -x -n, making the difference between c and x phonemic, rather than just allophonic, for these speakers. In the standard pronunciation, the vowel qualities i, e, as well as u, o, are all still distinguished even in unstressed syllables. In this latter case, however, many simplify the system in various degrees. For some speakers, this may go so far as to merge all four into one, whence misspellings by schoolchildren such as Brotagum instead of Brotagum or Portogal instead of Portugal. In everyday speech, more mergers occur, some of which are universal and some of which are typical for certain regions or dialect backgrounds. Overall, there is a strong tendency of reduction and contraction. For example, long vowels may be shortened, consonant clusters may be simplified, word final, may be dropped in some cases, and the suffix n may be contracted with preceding consonants, e.g. ham for haben ha to have. If the clusters m p, l t, n t, or k are followed by another consonant, the stops p, t, and k usually lose their phonemic status. 
Thus while the standard pronunciation distinguishes gans and s whole from gans ans goose, as well as er synced zeet from er synced zt, the two pairs are homophones for most speakers. The commonest practice is to drop the stop thus ans zt for both words, but some speakers insert the stop where it is not etymological ans zeet for both words, or they alternate between the two ways. Only a few speakers retain a phonemic distinction. Middle High German The Middle High German vowels a and I developed into the modern standard German diphthong a, whereas o and u developed into a. For example, Middle High German highs, hey, s, and wiz, ys, hot, and white became standard German hey per hectare s, and way, vas. In some dialects, the Middle High German vowels have not changed, e.g. Swiss German heiss, hey, s, and wiesis, vs, while in other dialects or languages, the vowels have changed but the distinction is kept, e.g. Bavarian hoa, hs, and we, vas, Ripuarian he, hes, and we, vs, Yiddish heis hes, hs, and yis vas, vas. The Middle High German diphthongs I, U, and y became the modern standard German long vowels I, U, and y after the Middle High German long vowels changed to diphthongs. Most Upper German dialects retain the diphthongs. A remnant of their former diphthong character is shown when I continues to be written i.e. in German as in Lieb love. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Loanwords. German incorporates a significant number of loanwords from other languages. Loanwords are often adapted to German phonology but to varying degrees, depending on the speaker and the commonness of the word. And, d, do not occur in native German words but are common in a number of French and English loanwords. Many speakers replace them with, and, t, respectively, especially in southern Germany, Austria and Switzerland, so that d-shungle from English jungle can be pronounced, d, l, or, t, l. Some speakers in northern and western Germany merge, with, d, so that journalist phonemically d na elst tilde na elst can be pronounced na elst d na elst or na elst. The realization of as t, however, is uncommon. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Loanwords from English. Many English words are used in German, especially in technology and pop culture. Some speakers pronounce them similarly to their native pronunciation, but many speakers change non-native phonemes to similar German phonemes even if they pronounce them in a rather English manner in an English language setting. English, theta, are usually pronounced as in RP or General American, some speakers replace them with S, and Z, respectively th alveolarization e.g. Thriller, theta L tilde SL. English, can be pronounced the same as in English, i.e., or as the corresponding native German, R, e g. Rock, K, or R, K. German and Austrian speakers tend to be variably rhotic. English, with is often replaced with German, V, e g. Whiskey, Ski. Word initial, S, is often retained, especially in the South, where word initial, S, is common, but many speakers replace it with, Z, e g. Sound, za n t. Word initial per stone, and, sp, are usually retained, but some speakers especially in southwestern Germany and western Austria replace them with, t, and, p, e, g. Stake, tech, or, t, k, spray, pay, or, pay. English, t, is usually retained, but in northern and western Germany, as well as Luxembourg it is often replaced with, e, g. Chips, peas. In Northern Standard German, final obstruent devoicing is applied to English loan words just as to other words e.g. Airbag BK, Lord Elt or LT, Backstage BKST. However, in Southern Standard German, in Swiss Standard German and Austrian Standard German, final obstruent devoicing does not occur and so speakers are more likely to retain the original pronunciation of word final liens although realizing them as fortes may occur because of confusing English spelling with pronunciation. English, e, and, o, are often replaced with, e, and, o, respectively e.g. Homepage, ho mpet. English, a, and, are pronounced the same, as German, met mat merger, e.g. backup, bcap. English, and, are pronounced the same, as German, cot cot merger, e.g. 
box b case english is usually pronounced as german a eg cutter cat english r is usually pronounced as german o eg shirt oat or t english i is pronounced as i happy tensing eg whisk e y ski topic sample The sample text is a reading of the first sentence of The North Wind and the Sun. The phonemic transcription treats every instance of and as are and are, respectively. The phonetic transcription is a fairly narrow transcription of the educated northern accent. The speaker transcribed in the narrow transcription is 62 years old, and he is reading in a colloquial style. Aspiration, glottal stops and devoicing of the leans after fortes are not transcribed. Note that the audio file contains the whole fable, and that it was recorded by a much younger speaker. Topic. Phonemic transcription A nst tartan zc nrdvient n zian, they are f and i n n ba d n vo l de r tricker vr, a l s a n vandrer, de r n a n n varm mantle, var, dies ve s da he r k a m. Phonetic transcription A n s t d n z c n t v n t n z n v f n i m ba d n vo l d t k v a l s a n vand d n a n v a m m a n t l v a d s v s da he ka m Orthographic version Einststritten sich Nordwind und Zana, wer von ihnen bieden wohl der Starkeri Ware, als ein Wanderer, der in einen warmen Mantel geholt war, de wedges darkem. See also German orthography <laughs> Notes <laughs>